father. Say hello to Australia. Hi, Australia. How are you? <laughs> I'm, well. I'm very pleased to meet you this morning. <laughs> uh, we're finally going to do over your back deck. You're not, are you, fair thinker? How, oh, how long has it been like this for? Oh, 30 years. I think I was about 10, so it's closer to 35. And uh, the Mission Brown, it, it was the colour of choice. Well, Back in I, the day. <laughs> it was the only tin of paint I had, so I had, to, I had to use it. Well, the best thing about the new deck is you won't have to paint it. No, that's great. No, that's terrific. And uh, the less I do now, the better. I just like to count me money in that. I, that's all I like to do now. <laughs> yeah, well, count your money, don't spend it, because I want it. And talk, to my, and talk to our ladies. Talk too. to little old ladies, he's good at that. Now, are you going to give me a hand? Oh, I'd love to. It's no. good to see you got the memo on how to dress. Yes, I have, and uh, I get that from you. All right, let's get busy. OK, let's go. Righto. This is the house that I grew up in. My parents bought it in 1980, and it belonged to my dad's parents before that. But my dad, or Claremont, even Monty to his mates, is a brickie, not a chippy. So I'm being the good son that I am, and I'm going to give him a hand to fix it up. Come on. It's my grandmother. Life's going to give it to you. Now, this veranda went down when I was eight years old, so it's 36 years old. You can do the maths. And where it's been exposed to the weather on the edge, well, apart from it rotting, it's just dangerous for my 83-year-old dad. The existing joists are in decent nick, but not wide enough for today's standards for the length of the span. So I'm going to attach extra timbers to each one of those joists. That'll strengthen it up and stop it from bouncing once the new decking boards go down. There you go. What am I going to do with these? <laughs> Put them on my feet. I've never seen these. Protect your hearing? Oh, that's OK, then. <laughs> I can't hear anyway, so it doesn't matter. What? I said I can't hear. What? You want to have a go? No, mate, don't mind, but kill someone. I wouldn't like that. So, Dad, this stuff's called eco-deck. The best thing about it, it's dead straight. So it's easy to put down, but as far as long term, zero maintenance. No, no. oiling, no painting. Just live no, on. that's terrific. At least I've got to do the best, that's for sure. Want any more, Jason? Yep, keep going. How many? All of them. Now, to get the perfect space for your board, sometimes you buy specific spaces, sometimes you use a nail. Well, what about you use the two together? Put a nail through the top, you've got your space. When you nail it off or you screw it off, it doesn't fall through and it's easy to pull out. You can use it again and again. Does, does anyone come along and repaint this after I finish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get tiring. Do so you notice how messy it was up there before with all the different pots and different heights and everything you had? Oh, yes, I know, I know, but... What we're going to do yes. is we're only going to put the best things back. And the reason why I'm painting these two dark grey is I'm going to put some white paint in mm -hmm. and then paint the next two a shade lighter and then the next two a shade lighter. So mm -hmm. even though they're all different shapes and sizes, they'll all tie together because they'll have that same tone in them. Yeah, that's great. No, that sounds really good. Jase. And then the decking boards that we put down, they're great, so everything's going to tie in together. Yeah, no, that sounds great. And it's a lot better than Mission Brown. Righto, thanks, Dad. OK, Jase. Mate, just while I'm here to help you. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, only, the unfortunate thing is, though, I've got to go out for lunch, I just remembered. <laughs> but you can do the rest on your own, can't you? Yes, Father. I'm you enjoy sorry. You enjoy your retirement. You have your long lunch with your pals. Yeah, well, caviar and all that, yeah. Caviar. You wouldn't even know how to spell it. Uh, C-A-M-E-W-R-Y. <laughs> that, so, that'll do, get my intelligence as well as my good news. start. OK, thank you. Now that Claremont, I mean Father, I mean Dad's gone, I can talk to you properly. I'm replacing the old roof with sunlight. Best thing about this compared to just corrugated see-through stuff is it's got this 10 mil channel, so it actually stays pretty cool underneath. But there's a step process that you need to follow. You need a little spray bottle with some soapy water so this rubber track can go inside the H groove up there. You tap it in with a mallet, not a hard hammer, and then you work along. If you get one wrong, you get them all wrong. But if you get the first one right, pretty much after that, they should all be right.
Now, if you didn't know it, my dad was a bricklayer. A mad, passionate, keen bricklayer. What's his favourite hobby? Collecting bricks. Where do we go for holidays? Brickyards. And I do love the fact that he has that passion for what other people would consider a pretty simple job. Now, he's got his little brick collection. It's down the back of the shed, and he loves showing it to people. It's not the prettiest place in the world. So I'm going to grab the best ones of those and put them front and centre. I've knocked up a simple box out of some pine. I've painted it the same colour as the wall. Provided I put it up level, he won't complain that it's made out of timber because it's going to show off, you guessed it, his favourite bricks. Oh, my and bloody godfathers. <laughs> what have you done? I'm in the wrong house, aren't I? Jason, <laughs> what have you done? What have I done? Like a good thing? What have I done? Or You've what made have I done? a little home for my precious bricks. Looks good, eh? You brought tears to a poor old bricklayer's eyes, I'll tell you. Jason, mate, you're tremendous. You're the best son I've got at your age, I'll tell you that now. No, just oh. the best son you've got. Oh. Just scrub Keith out of the will. Oh, no, 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 I'll give you a dollar, no way. <laughs> mate, that's just tremendous. No, thank you very much, Jase. I'm really touched by it. Thanks for everything you've done for me, mate. It's a, a great effort. It's, it really puts value on the house, and it's... Uh, and I'm touched by it. A little tear won't hurt, will it? <laughs>